TBN correspondent Brody Carter joins us now with the government's urgent call for help. Brody. Military personnel and rescue crews from all over the world, they're searching for hundreds of people still missing. And as humanitarian efforts begin to ramp up, people of faith now asking the world to join them in praying for Haiti. As the number of dead continues to climb, Haitians desperately search for loved ones in what's left of collapsed buildings. Saturday's 7.2 earthquake flattened 700 buildings, including homes, hospitals, and schools. Rescue missions to find life are up against the clock as fears grow over surrounding aftershocks and floods from oncoming tropical weather. We bring 52,000 pounds of equipment. That's enough for us to set up our base camp so that we can break through collapsed buildings as well as search equipment. Fairfax County Search and Rescue Team Virginia sending 59 rescuers and four rescue dogs helping the U.S. Coast Guard and United States agencies. Prime Minister Ariel Henry says there is still an urgent need for medical supplies and assistance before Tropical Depression Grace makes landfall late Monday. Haiti's the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, still picking up the pieces from the earthquake in 2010. It left hundreds of thousands dead, displacing millions. Further heartbreak came more recently with the July assassination of President Jovenel Moise. We sometimes we look up and say, Lord, how long? Gloria Rapaca, a Haitian native now living in Virginia, understands the financial need from her own personal experience, but says the problem goes much deeper than a need for medicine, food and water. I really want people to really go in their closet, call upon the Lord for the heart of the people to return to the Lord. She and her husband, Jabez, operate Love and Hope Ministries, educating and sharing the gospel with the people of Haiti and India. She says the country's repeated bombardment of violence and disaster is a testament to the island's need for Jesus Christ. And help us however the Lord put in your heart, but don't forget. Pray for the heart of the people to turn back to Jesus, because that's the best we can give them right now. Haiti's prime minister has declared a months-long state of emergency. This as the U.N. begins an international investigation into the assassination of President Moise. I'm Brody Carter, CBN News.